Hello all and welcome back. It's finally here. Stada Hedera's liquid HBAR staking solution has just gone live today and I'm going to be showing you guys in this video how to interact with the dApp to stake your HBAR and receive the HBARX token which will naturally appreciate in value i.e. giving you your APR or APY rewards. Not only that, I'll also be showing you guys how to get your HBAR off of exchanges. Now, obviously, I can't cover every single exchange. In this video, I will be showing you how to do it from Binance, as it's an exchange that I personally use and one of the most popular. However, the process should be very replicable on 99% of the exchanges out there. Anyway, without further ado, let's just jump straight into this. So one of the first things that you guys must make sure that you have is a hash pack wallet. So if you head over to www.hashpack.app, these links will all be in the description for you guys for ease of access. Um, and you click on launch the web app, or I'd recommend installing it on Chrome, and then you get the Chrome browser extension. Once you launch the web app, it will ask you to create a main password. You punch in some passwords, follow the on-screen steps, and then that will help you successfully create your Hashpack wallet. If you have an existing Hashpack wallet, you must make sure it is not associated with a Ledger or Trezor or any other type of hardware device. The staking solution built on top of Stado currently does not support that due to the infrastructure that's currently in place. You must have a Hashpack wallet that is not associated. If your Hashpack wallet is associated, I'd recommend you create a new Hashpack wallet, otherwise you will not be able to access this platform. Once you've got your Hashpack wallet, you can see here I'm signed in via the web app. It opens it as a new application on your computer. You can see I've already got some HBAR in this wallet and, and some other tokens like Source, for example. Now, at the top, the 0, 0.0 number is your Hashpack or Hedera wallet address. So you're going to be copying that and then using that to transfer from Binance across the Hashpack. So if we jump over to Binance, you'll be greeted to this screen if you guys have already got an account. Quite simply, you're going to go up to Wallet, Fit and Spot. Once the Fiat and Spot page loads, you'll be able to see your current Fiat and Spot balances for all the tokens you hold over on Binance. So you can see here, my Hedera Hashgraph is at the top. Once you've found HBAR or Hedera Hashgraph, you're going to click on Withdraw. Now the withdrawal page is loaded, my screen may look a little bit different to you because I use the address management features within Binance to whitelist specific addresses. This means that if someone gets into my account for some reason, they can only send HBAR to those whitelisted addresses. It's just an additional security measure. However, the process should be exactly the same. So under the select coin, we need to make sure that Hedera Hashgraph or HBAR is selected. You guys are probably going to click on new address. Um, for me, I'm going to be selecting a whitelisted address. So we can see here, here is my address that you guys will need to punch in. Um, so go back into Hashpack, make sure you copy your um, address details, the 0, 0.0 number and paste your address into here. The network selected should be HBAR. The memo, which says optional, is not required to send from Binance to, uh, to Hashpack. However, if you decide to send HBAR from Hashpack back to Binance, you will require a memo. That's a different kettle of fish though. Just, for, just know from sending from Binance to Hashpack, a memo is not required. You can see here it says my address is whitelisted. Um, as I mentioned, I'm using the address features. That is literally it. All you need to do is select the coin, the network being HBAR, and make sure you put in the correct address that you want to send it to. Now I'm just going to punch in a value. So I'm going to put in um, 1000 for this tutorial as I will be running through the process. We can see here I want to select my spot wallet because that's where my funds are held on Binance. And we can see here my receive amount is going to be 999 HBAR because there is a one HBAR network fee included um, via Binance's protocol. After that, I'm simply going to click withdraw. It then prompts me saying the selected network supports memo filing. Please confirm if the recipient's address requires a memo. No, it does not require a memo, so I'm going to hit confirm. This then prompts me for a risk warning to understand that I, I understand what I'm doing effectively. I'm going to click confirm. I must say to you guys as well, when you first do this, do not send a large amount like I am doing. I've done this several times. Do a test run with say two or three HBAR um, to your Hashpack wallet. This just ensures the process goes smoothly. And if it does go wrong, you've only lost a few HBAR. Do not start with large amounts of HBAR. Once you've done a test run and you've got the wallet address saved and you understand the process, you can then begin transferring larger amounts of HBAR. But yeah, I can't stress that enough. Make sure you start with a low amount for your first um, the first time you send some HBAR from Binance to Hashback. 
I'm going to click confirm and it's going to tell me what's going to happen with my withdrawal. So we can see my label, the amount I'm going to receive, the address that I'm sending it to. So again, make sure that's your address. The network being Hashgraph is coming out of my source spot wallet and my uh, whitelisted in this case, yes, because it's a whitelisted account on Binance. I'm going to click continue and I've got email verification set up and also two factor authentication. So I'm going to press get code. That's going to send an email to my email address where I'm going to grab a code and my authenticator code is coming from my TFA or 2FA uh, application of choice. So I'm just going to quickly pause this and punch in these figures and I'll come back with you. Okay, so now I've got the codes in, I'm going to press submit. And we can see there withdrawal request has been submitted. Please note that you will receive an email once it is completed. Your withdrawal request is being reviewed and will take approximately 12 hours. You can review the stat status of your withdrawal request in the withdrawal history page complete. Now, normally this doesn't take 12 hours. It is obviously a bit slower coming from an exchange to a decentralized wallet um, or non-custodial wallet such as Hashpack. However, this normally confirms within about 10 to 15 minutes for me. So again, I'll be back once this is processed. We'll see the balance update in my Hashpack wallet. And then I know I've received the HBAR that I've sent. Okay, so it still says processing over on the Binance page. However, if I head over to my hash pack, we can now see I've just received an additional 1000 H bar, taking the balance of this wallet up to 1630 roughly H bar. And we can see here one minute ago, I've received H bar from this address, which will be the pooled address for Binance itself. And I have got my additional 999 H bar. Now we have successfully got the H bar from our centralized exchange onto our hash pack wallet. We are now ready to interact with the Stada staking solution. So let's jump straight over to that and show you guys how to actually stake your hash bars within the liquid pool. Okay, so once your hash pack has now got the new hash bar from the exchange that you've sent across and it's fully confirmed, head over to hedera.stadalabs.com forward slash LT hyphen pools. This will be linked in the description. We're met with the Stada Hedera staking platform. The first thing we can see at the top is this is currently a capped launch where transactions are limited to 1000 H bar each. Users are advised to stake with caution. So I'll be running through this and I'll be staking the maximum limit here in this video of 1000 H bar. So first things first, let's connect wallet. So top right, connect wallet, hash pack wallet. And we can see immediately it pops up. I've got multiple wallets here, so I'm going to use the one that I want to use. So connect with my bottom wallet. Click on approve, and that's going to take a second to run through. Okay, so that actually took a few more seconds than expected initially, probably because this is just launched and the servers are probably stressed out from the amount of people trying to stake. So now you can see up in the top right, it's displaying my current HBAR balance from my Hashpack wallet, as well as my Hashpack wallet ID or my Hedera wallet ID. We can see because this pool has just started, the APY is 440 four percent annually and um, the tvl currently of 164,000 h bar is already locked away in this pool so clicking on stake obviously we can't unstake do not forget that once you've staked to this pool um, you will not be able to unstake until june july when they release you can see here expected around july 2022 so let's enter the staking amount so i'm just going to do 1000 here that is the maximum limit that you can stake um, and we can see the output amount is 993. And that's because that exchange pool is already moving uh, in favor of HBARX. It's no longer one to one. We can see the rate is now one HBARX equals 1.0061 HBAR. So there's my 1000 HBAR, my output amount of HBARX that I'm going to be receiving. I'm going to click on stake and it's going to pop up to execute the smart contract within my, H, my Hashpack wallet. So I'm going to click on approve and it's going to ask me to unlock my wallet. So one second. Now that I've unlocked my wallet, it's now executing this smart contract transaction. So we'll take let this process. It should be fairly quick normally. As I said, these servers are probably undergoing a lot of stress right now with many people like me um, trying to navigate the platform and stake their HBAR. Now it's worth saying while this loads, um, you can only do 1000 HBAR per per transaction currently to stake. So if you want to stake more than 1000 HBAR, you need to just repeat these steps from the beginning. So once this transaction finalizes and processes, you need to go back to the beginning, stake, type in 1000, press approve, and then re-execute the smart contract to stake 1000, rinse and repeat until you've got to your desired amount effectively. Okay, I think with the unprecedented demand at the moment on the servers, this is being very slow at the moment. Just be patient. I did refresh the uh, Stata Labs webpage and it finally processed the transaction. Hopefully guys, when this has been released, this video is live, um, it'll be a lot smoother for you. 
However, we can now see that my 1000 H bar has been exchanged for 1000 H bar X. I didn't have to associate the token. It, it seemed to have automatically associated the token. However, if you need to associate the token because it doesn't automatically do it, the address is 0.0.834116 and you do that via the add token. Like I said, I didn't actually have to do that. It just automatically associated the HBARX token with my wallet. And there we can see I've got my 1000 HBARX. And back on the main platform, it's now telling me I've got my roughly 630 available to stake. So if I wanted to go and stake another set of say 1000 or 630, I'd punch in my figures, hit stake again, and then re-roll that transaction. Now we can already see the, the APY is starting to, to decrease since recording this video. We're at some, roughly 73%, and we've already hit over 1 million, sorry, 100, one, no, it's 1 million. We've already hit over 1 million HBAR staked in the total value locked uh, within this pool, which is fantastic to see. I think the demand for this is completely unprecedented, um, and obviously that figure will continue to grow. We're only literally 18 minutes into this platform's launch um, and to see already 1 million HBAR staked is pretty crazy indeed. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you guys have any sort of questions or queries or comments, please drop them down below. I'll be interacting with as many of you as I can to help you through this sort of process. It's fairly straightforward and simple to do. Um, obviously I've done this on a desktop or a laptop at the moment instead of a mobile application just due to the nature of how Hashpack uh, operates better on desktop than it does on mobiles. And I urge you to do the same if you can. This process could be followed on mobile. It'll be exactly the same. It just maybe look a little bit different in terms of the UI. Anyway, please make sure you're subscribed. Lots more videos coming in the future, especially with DEXs around the corner like Sourceswap and obviously Hedera started pushing out more platforms. Um, make sure you leave a like as well. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.